Is this happening to you? then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to defeat Royal Knight Loretta. If you wanna be an absolute legend and support the channel, then make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. My name is Azavar or Azza, now let's get into the video. I'll just show you where this boss is located on the map. It's towards the end of Akaria Manor. This boss is quite weak to lightning, so if you have any lightning pots, lightning attacks, or lightning grease, then definitely use that. We don't have any lightning grease, so we're gonna use fire grease instead. It will still give us an attack increase, but not quite as much as the lightning grease would do. And of course, we'll be throwing these lightning pots at her as well. Okay, so let's jump into the actual fight itself. First of all, we'll pop a flask and then pickled turtle neck, and then fire grease. We could even pop a cheeky war cry. As soon as we step over this line here, the fight will start. Whip out the wolves, lock on. She usually starts by jumping up into the air and whipping out magical swords. You can get a few strikes in uh, right at the start of the fight there. And with the magical swords, essentially you kind of want to run and roll to the sides to avoid them. They've got decent tracking, but they don't have amazing tracking. Um, although she does some extra attacks in phase two, uh, phase two is roughly about half HP when she gets down to about half HP. Uh, you could use this chance to throw your lightning pots, they do insane levels of damage uh, if they actually connect, not like that one. But that's the amount of damage that they do, they're, they're pretty beefy. Uh, but for most magical attacks, Basically, I'm just keeping like a medium to long range distance away and just running to the sides really uh, to avoid them. So she's roughly around uh, phase change at this point. You could just finish this phase off with lightning pots. So this is now the sort of more intense uh, phase. So that's the new attack that she gets in this phase. Uh, with that particular attack that you saw there, kind of like the charged shot, uh, you want to time your roll according to the distance between you and Loretta. So if you're closer, you'll want to roll sooner. And if you're further away, you'll want to delay your roll uh, a little bit. This one right here. It's quite spicy because she does like loads of different magical attacks all at the same time. And they've all got like slightly different timings and stuff. Uh, so the sort of magic bolts that you just saw have got really good tracking. This is a combination of the swords and the sort of magic bolts. Those ones just there. They've got uh, very good tracking. That one you want to once again delay your roll if you're quite far away. Uh, other than that, we'll basically just throw these pots. Once again they do massive amounts of damage like so. You can block the physical attacks if you've got a good uh, shield. Our shield is very good against physical attacks, but it's not very good against magical attacks. So for that reason, uh, I'm not really using too much shield on this fight because the magical attacks will just go straight through it, really. It's good against physical, as you can see, but magical, uh, not so much. So we'll heal up. And we'll try and finish the fight off with the uh, lightning pots. So just throw when you've got an opportunity to throw. This is the one that's got insane tracking on it, so be very, very careful of that. That's a double uh, swing when she does that sort of like charge attack there. So watch out for the double swing on that. And uh, other than that, that is the fight. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it helped you out in some way. If it did, remember to like, subscribe and drop a comment. You can check out all the other content that I make at azavar.com. 